The other night, I woke up in the madrugada and thought, hmm, usually when I wake up in the night, I have a panic attack. And that's when the panic attack started. I feel it's a warning of some sort, and I'm trying to figure out what the warning's for, but I feel that my intuition isn't sensitive enough, so I can only guess what the cause is. Now I'm used to panic attacks, and I have a lot of tools for dealing with them. This time, for example, I pictured Hicks and Gracie's philosophy about surrender. I surrendered and let it pass instead of fighting it. But I realized that by doing this, I'm just adding another layer that numbs my senses instead of being my authentic self. That's why I have no intuition. I don't even know who I am. I'm solving a problem with the tool that I have, but it's not me that I'm being. I feel I'm not strong enough, so I adopt some philosophy or someone else as an alter ego. Hickson has a good mindset, I'll use that, but it's not me. And after doing this for my whole life, at this point, I don't know who me is. We're supposed to just be ourselves, but is that a coward or a champion? I can feel both depending on the situation or how much sleep I've had. I have all these reference experiences of me being a winner, making it through absurd situations. So why isn't it automatic? Why do I have to manually convince myself that I'm a king every time? The numbness could be too much logic and chess type of thinking, thinking through and calculating every move and what to bring to the table in order to win. It's been a great help in terms of business, but doing it involves putting on a lot of masks. I wear so many masks and I swap between them as needed because I got good at using a specific toolkit to solve a specific situation. It's helped me immensely in my life, but in wearing so many masks, I don't even know which is the me without a mask. I've lost myself. I'm not sure how to find it, but I think it will have something to do with body awareness. And from there, just shutting down thoughts in order to simply be. Being in the present is something of value as there's always the next thing coming up, trying to solve for it. So it's a struggle, trying to simply be and feel. I think that could be the way forward, but like with everything else, I'm just guessing.